The intense heat kept many people indoors today, but not everyone had the luxury of staying cool by the air conditioning. CBS 2's Charlie Damar joins us now with how people are coping in this weather. Charlie. Chris and Erica, even with the sundown, this air is thick. You really can feel it. And while crowds did seem a bit lighter at popular places like beaches and other tourist destinations around the city, others made a point to go out and take advantage of the warm weather that we do have left. Sparks flew from power lines in Skokie, leaving some without power and AC for hours. The heat kept emergency crews there busy. There's been some other uh, heat related emergencies that have taken place through town, most of them EMS related uh, for overheated individuals. Catching rays, fresh air, and some waves. That's the simple formula getting Mark Francis through this heat wave. I work in a warehouse, it was 120 degrees. <laughs> Can't, you can't complain because the winter will be here soon. Ice cold snow cones. It's called a Nadine snow cone. Made Nadine Woods popular at Chicago's 31st Street Beach. Since it was so hot, I decided to bring my grandkids and come to the beach. The heat proving to be a challenge for Chicago firefighters. They're sending more firefighters to scenes like this one in Chinatown early Wednesday morning. Due to the heat, we wanted to have rehab set up, which means that guys are rehydrating and getting a break. And CFD says there will be more ambulances on the street to respond to heat related 911 calls. Right. And as CPS returned to classes this week, leaders said every classroom was equipped with a working AC unit that was before the heat wave. An email to parents shows that the AC went out in two classrooms in the annex building at George Washington. That can't make for a good learning environment. Now we checked in with a number of area hospitals and they say at this point they have not treated anybody with heat related illnesses, but that could change. The doctors that we spoke to say with another hot day expected tomorrow, the cumulative impact of this heat could lead more people to go to the ER. Reporting live tonight near Grant Park, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Chris, Erica. Okay, Charlie, thank you.